aqueous solution of barium phosphate which is 100% ionized uh, that has the delta tf freezing point by kf is as 0 0.05 you know, what is the given solution so this we can solve uh, delta uh, tf by kf is equal to uh, i into m and here i this is barium phosphate so barium phosphate we can write here uh, ba3 po4 whole twice so 3 plus 2 5 so i is equal to 5 and this is also equal to 0 0.05 so we can say uh, 0 0.05 is equal to 5 into m so m is equal to 0 0.01 molar so answer is a a 0 0.2 molar aqueous solution of a weak acid is 20 percent ionized and what is the freezing point of the solution so we can write delta tf is equal to uh, so i value is 20 percent ionized so we can say 1.0.2 this is the alpha and k value is 1.86 and molar solution is 0 0.2 so if you solve it on solving you will get 0 0.4464 kelvin so almost it is coming uh, so it will be delta t means uh, tf that is tf that is 0 minus tf is delta tf so 0 minus uh, 0.4464 will be almost equal to 0 0.45 degree centigrade so answer is our a means minus 45 0 0.45 degree celsius a complex ion and cyanide ion is 100% ionized at 1 molar. If the elevation boiling point is 2.08, so then what is the complex is? So, uh, the, the elevation boiling point is 2.08, so we can write here 2.08 and I we don't know and the K, that is the KB is given here 0 0.52. Okay, and this is 1, so I value if you solve it, you will get here 4 values. 4 means we can find so which have four values so three plus one only a is coming answered because this is five this is three this is five so five this is five five three so only a is four so answer a is correct k3 fe c n whole six so potassium it is six minus ferry cyanide the fraction of phenol dimerized in benzene if 20 gram phenol in one kilogram benzene exhibit a freezing point depression this is a depression freezing point k of benzene is given so we have to find the fraction of phenol which is dimerized that is we have to find the beta value so let us write down this is the 2 beta so 2 phenol this is the phenol is given it is converting into so it is dimerized so b2 is there so we can write here this is your uh, initially it will be 1 this is 0 and this will be 1 minus beta and this will be your beta by 2 right now this i value we have got that so next we can find out uh, 0 0.69 is the depression freezing point and this is equal to i into i is uh, uh, 5.12 is given here k, k value and this multiplied by so weight is given 20 and the molecular mass of this uh, phenol is 90 4 gram so we can see 77 plus 17 this is 94 gram if you solve i is equal to 0 0.633 so now this i is 1 minus beta so this is your how much this is your uh, i is equal to 1 minus beta by 2 and this is 0 0.633 so if you solve beta will be equal to 0 0.74 so this is the fraction of phenol 0 0.74 if so you see carefully so N4 is coming A, so A is our correct answer, that is A, this A is correct answer. For a solution of 0 0.849 gram of mercurous oxide in 50 gram of HGCl to liquid form, and its depression point is given 1.4 degree centigrade and K value is 34.4. What is the state of mercurous chloride in HGCl2? This way to find what is state, what is state please? Is it, uh, you can see this dimer or ions, what is there? So, freezing point depression is given 1.24 and I value that is we don't know from this we can find the uh, state and 24.3 uh, is the KF value and the remaining the weight is of HGCL2 is given here 0 0.849 and molecular mass is how much 235.5 this is the molecular mass of this one so the moles 
and weight of the solvent is how much 50 grams and multiplied by 1000 now if you solve this whole equation so you will get i is equal to 0 0.5 means half half means that uh, this hgcl2 is dimerized so we can say this hgcl2 is actually dimerized and you are getting here hg2cl2 so this is a dimer form of mergers chloride so our answer is answer will be your a will be our answer a solution of x mass of sucrose in 100 grams of water it freezes at 0 point minus 0 0.2 degree centigrade as i separates the freezing it separates the freezing point goes to 0 0.25 degree centigrade so we have two types of solvent one is at 0 degree uh, 0 uh, point, uh, 2 degree celsius one is 0 0.25 degree celsius in both the cases solvent is different so how many gram of i would have separated separated so first you write here uh, first case 0 0.2 and in this kf is a constant and uh, weight of the solvent uh, solid we don't know it is fixed and initially it is 100 gram of water divided by 100 thousand and next we have temperature is 0 0.25 right and again k value is same but here x by w so i will be uh, weight of ice will be different so if you take the whole ratio uh, this one and this two and divide it one by two so this will be cancelled this is cancelled so you will get here x also cancel so you will get here weight will be equal to 80 gram so weight of solvent is 80 gram right and total weight was 100 and weight of the solvent was 80 gram so what about the rest of the solvent? the rest of is 20 gram so 20 gram ice was separated so if you see the answer answer will be your b answer b answer is correct the freezing point depletion of a 0 0.1 molar uh, molarity solution of a formic acid is given here. What is the equilibrium constant for the reaction at 298 Kelvin? So this is the reaction and in this reaction the format is giving OH minus and the whole solution this, uh, the thing is going to become your basic solution. So we have to find the KV of the value, KV value because OH is given. So what is the KV value of this uh, for this reaction? So before going to ke value first we find what is the degree of dissociation so k uh, delta tf is equal to uh, that is i into kf into m so tf is given how much so it is 0 0.2046 and i is how much so i is uh, write down i will be 1 plus alpha and uh, next is 1.86 and multiplied by 0 0.1 that is consideration so if you get so here you solve it so alpha will be equal to 0 0.1 right now formic acid this formic acid the formic acid dissociates and do uh, h plus n formate ion that is h plus n aqua solution so you will get here hco minus n so here if you see the k value will be equal to so k l value equal to c alpha square divided by 1 minus alpha so what is c value so c value is 0 0.1 into 0 0.1 whole alpha l will be your square and divide by 1 minus 0 0.1 so if you solve it so you will get here uh, almost equal to 1 by 9 into 10 to the power minus so already so this is 1 0 0.9 so it will be 0 0.9 will cancel out this is a k value so what is the kb value so kb value to find into final so this is kw by ka value so kw is 10 power minus 14 and this is your given here 1 by 9 so it will go 9 will go up and this is 10 power minus 2 so if you solve it so it is your nothing but that 9 into 10 power minus 12 so our k value is equal to 9 into 10 power minus 12 this is the kb equilibrium constant for we can say this reaction what is the equilibrium constant for this reaction that is uh, 9 into 10 per minus 12 this is our answer how many grams of sucrose that is molecular weight is 342 uh, should be dissolved in 100 grams of water so you have to dissolve the sucrose in 100 grams of water in order to produce a solution with uh, 105 degrees centigrade or Celsius difference between the freezing point and the boiling point temperature kf of uh, both water and this both are given so it will be delta 
TB is equal to plus delta TF is equal to KB plus KF into M. So this formula is applied. And this, is the, this will give a difference in temperature. How this will give a difference in temperature? So delta TB is equal to how much? So we can write here. <coughs> T minus 100 degrees centigrade, it's a TB, higher mass lower, and plus TF will be how much? So it will be 0 degree centigrade to TF value, the lowest temperature, the difference of temperature will be there, that is delta TF. So this is, so that's why we are writing this one, and difference, this difference is how much? This difference is your 105, so 100 is given, so this will be 105 minus 100, right, and plus 0 minus TF. So you will get the whole difference will be how much? So it will be your 5 degree. And Kf is given 1.86 and uh, and uh, this is your 0 0.51 is Kb and M is given. So M we need to find out. That is the weight of the B uh, divided by that is your sucrose solution and 1000 by solvent is given 100. Solvent is 100 is given. 1000 by 100. Right? So now if you solve it, so on solving the whole equation, this whole equation, so weight is coming out around 72.15 gram. This is the weight of the sucrose solution. So almost we are getting answer B. So answer B is correct for this question. So this is one of the very good questions uh, for the exam examinations. Please note it down, this concept properly. A non volatile solute is added to water solute to water liquid and equilibrium mixture at its melting point 273 Kelvin. So you have to select the options which correctly represent the true and false. Nature of statement. So statement 1. The reaction will move to forward direction. So solute will convert to liquid at equilibrium mixture. Yes, correct. This statement is correct. Uh, equilibrium will be remain unaffected. No, if uh, solid will move to liquid action, so uh, equilibrium will not be uh, equilibrium will def definitely affected. So it is writing the writing equilibrium will remain unaffected. No, equilibrium will be affected. So when you change the mass, equilibrium will affect the statement. All the ice will wet. No, all the ice will not be held on adding the non volatile solute. So which option is correct? So only one and three is correct. All statements are wrong. Only statement 2 is incorrect. This is uh, correct answer. Only second uh, option is incorrect. Statement 1 is correct. Yes, correct. Statement 3 is incorrect. No, statement 3 is your incorrect. Is correct. So only option B is there because this should be this is your incorrect option. This is your incorrect option. This is the correct option. So statement 2 is your incorrect. It should be Affected. So answer B is for this option only B is your correct answer. How many moles of sucrose should be uh, dissolved in 500 grams of water so as to get a solution which has a difference of 104 degrees centigrade between the boiling point and freezing point? So the difference of boiling point and freezing point is 104 degrees. So we can write here so delta TB uh, plus delta TF is equal to. Uh, Kf into your M. So delta TB is again TB minus 100 and then plus uh, you can see freezing point is 0 degree minus TF and this is your Kf so Kf plus sorry uh, Kf plus uh, Kb into M. So Kf is your 1 point how much it is uh, 86 and Km is 0.52 this is your plus sign 52 and multiply it by we can write here weight of the solvent. So weight of the solvent is uh, your W by 500 into 1000, right. Now this whole difference is how much? So 100, 4 minus 100, so difference is 4 and this 1.86 is given 1.86 plus 0 0.52 and multiplied by weight by, this is your 2, so multiplied by 2. So 4, this is equal to uh, 4 is equal to so if you solve it 6 plus 2 8 and 8 plus 3 14 and 2.48 into 2 into w so if you solve this 2 is cancelled so w is coming around 0. Point, uh, it will come around 0. 0.8 
sorry uh, 0 0.8 and then next is it is given here also 4 0 so if you see our option this option only correct for this question